If Termitrax are on, termites found. Welcome to the Termitrack training program. Your Termitrack training team are qualified termite specialists, so your training is based on hands-on experience. Our assessors hold current pest management and training qualifications. We are fully qualified to train you. At the completion of your training, you will receive an accreditation certificate and be fully qualified to use the Termitrack unit. This visual program supports your intensive Termitrack training. We do advise you also to read the supplied manual. Congratulations, you are joining the growing list of pest management professionals who are leaders in our industry by using the latest in termite tracking technology, Termitrack. The Termitrack unit is sophisticated in design and technology, but simple in operation. Think about its use this way. The device emits a continuous beam of microwaves. When the moving object passes into the beam, a reflection of molecules are bounced back, giving a movement signal on the LCD screen. Termitrack is non-invasive and accurate. These are very important points to convey to your clients and will increase customer confidence and peace of mind. So, let's get started on your product knowledge and training. First, some important tips to ensure the correct and safe operation of your Termitrack unit. Termitrack is totally safe to use. In fact, a Termitrack unit has a lower microwave emission than a microwave oven or a television and is well within all world standards. However, we recommend that you do not look into the horn unit. Do not point the horn unit at anyone. Always hang the horn unit on the cradle when not in use. Turn the unit off when you're finished using it. And remember to always remove the battery before you store the unit in its case to ensure maximum battery life. Your Termitrack unit comprises two parts. A sensor unit that is applied to a surface to detect hidden termite activity. We call that the horn. The main unit contains the control buttons, liquid crystal display, horn cradle, belt clip, battery door, ID label, battery removal ribbon and curly cord. There's no need to disconnect the horn from the main unit unless instructed. To correctly fit the battery, hold the unit in one hand, remove the battery door and extend the battery removal ribbon. Pick up the battery in your opposite hand Place the base of the battery in the compartment against the locating lugs. Ensure that you read the battery label. It should read, this side facing out. Then simply press the battery in. You'll feel it click into place. Make sure the ribbon is in place before you replace the battery door. The ribbon must be in position to allow for easy battery removal. Now the unit is ready to operate. It is now a good time to take the pretension out of the curly cord. This is done to allow free movement of the horn without interference from tension in the cord and will assist you in holding the unit steady during operation. It is important you do this each time you use the unit. This procedure is carried out by placing the unit and horn in each hand placing the thumbs over the cord anchorage on both the horn and main body, then stretching the curly cord to the full extension of both arms. Let's take a look at the screen. Here's your on-off button. When you switch on, the unit will go through a short startup process. On the screen, you'll find the battery level indicator, the current time and date, and the unit expiry date. You will also notice a speaker icon which, when clear, shows the horn is switched off. This is a battery saving mode. To turn the unit off, simply press the on-off button again. Pressing this second button next to the on-off button will turn the backlight on for 5 minutes. Pressing this backlight button before the 5 minutes have elapsed will switch the light off. The Termitrack unit starts up on a gain setting of 3. This is a good starting point for most common building materials. These are the gain control buttons. 
you'll see they are marked with arrows. You have an Increase Gain button and a Decrease Gain button. These are used to adjust the gain setting of the display unit. These adjustments allow you to determine the level and depth of termite activity behind a wide range of building materials. The scale of adjustment is from 0 through to 6. As a guide, the lower settings are used for thinner or less dense materials or where you suspect that termite activity is close to the surface. The higher levels are needed for thicker or denser materials or where the termite activity is further away from the horn. The setting number is displayed on the screen under the gain icon. The horn activity indicator shows whether a signal is emitting from the front of the horn unit. When the horn sits in its cradle, a special switch turns off the power to the horn and saves your battery power. The indicator on the LCD will be a clear speaker icon. When the horn is lifted from its cradle, the day date indicator is removed and replaced by the bar graph indicator screen. This indicates that the horn is emitting a signal. The horizontal bar graph is the indicator of termite movement. When there is no activity, all you'll see is a thin vertical line. When activity is detected, the bar fluctuates. The amount of fluctuation depends on the intensity of the termites, the thickness and density of the material you're testing, and the gain setting. For example, if the unit is set on the highest gain setting, on 6, and the material is thin, the bar graph will move further to the right. If the material is fairly thick, the movement on the bar graph will be slight and stay close to the thin vertical line. This range is helpful in the many types of building materials found in use today, from fibro, plaster and VJ boards right through to concrete block walls. Battery display is represented by a vertical bar graph. Fully charged, the blackened section goes right to the top. You'll get 8 to 10 continuous hours on a fully charged battery. When the battery is almost discharged, a low battery warning message will be displayed on the screen and a warning beep will be heard. This is a good time to recharge. Firstly, the battery shouldn't be charged until the low battery warning indicator is displayed or the unit will not start up. There are four aspects to good battery maintenance. You must match the polarity of the battery and the charger, that is, positive to positive and negative to negative. When positioning the battery charger cover, ensure that it is pushed down fully. This will be confirmed by the red light indicator on the charger. The battery must be in an upright position during charging and it must be charged in a well-ventilated area. Do not charge your batteries in the carry case. The battery charges are regulated so you cannot overcharge your battery. The red light indicates when the battery charger is working. To charge your battery fully, make sure it is on the charger for 12 hours. It is a good idea to charge your battery overnight. Do not leave the battery in the unit when it is not in use, as battery drain will occur resulting in battery life being shortened. Full battery care details are contained in your manual. You'll also hear warning beeps with Termatrac's automatic shutdown system. The unit is designed to operate for 29 minutes. If no buttons have been pressed in this time, the automatic shutdown system assumes the unit may have been inadvertently left on. So there'll be a series of 29 warning beeps and screen flashes after which the unit will shut down. If you still need to use the unit, you can simply depress one of the gain buttons which will reactivate the unit for a further 29 minutes.